how to build chains of analysis or chains of reasoning in A-level business. We will look at examples from the Cambridge International Syllabus, but the same principles apply to any A-level business essay. Moving from IGCSE to A-level can be a challenge for students. You're going from highly structured answers like this to unstructured essay answers like this. The key to quickly getting to grips with A-level essay writing are chains of analysis. The magical combinations of knowledge, application and analysis. If we master how to build chains of analysis, these can form the building blocks of every essay answer that you do in A-level business. You can find loads more information on how to succeed in A-level business by clicking on the links in the description or heading to caiebusiness.com. So let's take care of A-level business. A chain of analysis takes us from knowledge, puts in context, also known as application, and allows us to analyze the impact on the business. Examiners continually refer to chains of analysis when showing top mark answers. As a basic recipe for chains of analysis, we're looking for knowledge and understanding, application, analysis, and further analysis. Let's use this example of just in time at a car manufacturer. So we start with the knowledge point that could influence the successful operation of just in time. Excellent employee employer relationships are essential. Let's explain this a little further and start our application and analysis. If there's a bad relationship between management and factory workers, this could lead to a strike and a halt in production. Here, we're using application by putting just in time in context by talking about the impact on a car factory. But we still need to take the chain of analysis further and explain the impact of this factor. As just in time relies on finished stocks being taken away directly from the factory to the car dealerships, this could lead to customer orders for cars not being completed. And we finish the chain of analysis by analyzing the impact of the incomplete customer orders. This will lead to damage to the car company's reputation and lost sales as customers may cancel their orders or move to a competitor. Let's look at another example of chain of analysis for this question, the use of sophisticated IT systems. This means car parts and components can be ordered automatically just as they are needed, reducing the chance of human error in reordering from suppliers or in the communication not being sent or received correctly, so IT systems will ensure car components always arrive on time and at the right quantity. For more past paper examples on chains of analysis, see the description below or go to caiebusiness.com. Up next, we've got pro tips for building top mark chains of analysis. Pro tip one, quality, not quantity. It's much better to give a detailed analysis of two points than a rushed or incomplete analysis of four points. Indeed, the examiner report states that they expect at least two good sized paragraphs for any analysis question. Pro tip two, use connectives like, this means that, this will impact the business because, this will lead to, to keep forcing yourself to fully analyze and keep adding to the chain of analysis. Pro tip three, plan your answer and choose the points that you can most confidently and effectively answer to avoid repetition. For example, we saw with the just in time question, you could have picked any of these points. Think before you start, which factor will you be able to explain in context the full impact of the successful operation of just in time? Also, try to pick two points which are different so you don't repeat the same points in both of your paragraphs of analysis. For example, having flexible machinery and a flexible workforce are quite similar, so it will be easier to explain why good management employee relationships are important in one paragraph and then explain why effective IT systems are important in the next paragraph. The past paper and my solution is available at caiebusiness.com along with loads of other resources and courses specifically designed for Cambridge business exams. Please let me know what you think and remember to subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials to take you to the top in Cambridge business exams. If you want to check out the AS survival guide, click up here.
And if you want to see how to build evaluation questions at A-level, click over here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.